cold out there. Mr. Edwards? Oh, hello there. I'm Mr. Perkins, the engine driver. I thought Mr. Edwards would be here. He's the signalman. This is his signal box. He's probably gone to get some more coal. Oh, you don't want to run out of coal on a day like this. Oh, that reminds me of a story about Henry. Henry was a different shape when he came to the island and he needed special coal. But that's all changed after a bit of a mishap. Now, let's see. Here we are, the Flying Kipper. One winter evening, Henry's driver told him they had to be up early in the morning to pull the Flying Kipper. That's the train that collects the fish from the harbour. Don't tell Gordon, said Henry's driver, but if we pull the kipper nicely, Sir Topham Hatt might let us pull the express. Hurrah! cried Henry. At the docks, Henry was ready at five o'clock. There was snow and frost. Fishermen were loading their fish onto the flying kipper. The guard showed his green lamp and the flying kipper was ready to go. Henry whooshed under bridges and clattered through stations. Then he saw a yellow signal up ahead. Caution, thought Henry. But the home signal was down, and that meant all clear. Henry couldn't know that the switches were frozen up ahead. Oh, no, Henry had better be careful. A freight train was waiting on the siding to let the flying kipper pass. The driver and fireman were drinking cocoa in the brake car. The kipper is due, said the guard. Who cares, said the fireman. This is good cocoa. The men got out just in time as Henry rushed onto the siding. He tried to stop, but his wheels slipped on the icy rails. There was a sudden crash, and Henry sprawled on his side. Deary me, luckily nobody was hurt. The signal was down, sir, explained Henry, when Sir Topham Hatt came to see him. Cheer up, Henry, said Sir Topham Hatt. It wasn't your fault. Ice and snow caused the accident. Henry was sent to crew to be repaired where they gave him a new shape and a larger firebox, which meant Henry could use ordinary coal. When he came back, Henry felt like a different engine. The people at the station gave him three cheers, and he pulled the express so well that Gordon was jealous. Ah, but that's a different story. So, that's how Henry came to use ordinary coal. I hope Mr. Edwards is out getting us some ordinary coal, too. In the meantime, I shall just look after his fire until he gets back. <laughs>